things tend to be used at festivals, times of celebration or times of commemoration. Quite often it's seen as, well, your wows are attempting to stop people commemorating someone's life or someone's birthday or whatever. Um, so there's a difficulty and a sensitivity there to get involved. Although I couldn't get anything from the Environment Minister, one woman's petition did manage to garner a response. Karen Joins created a Change.org campaign to have the use of helium in balloons totally banned across Australia. If the use of helium was banned, that would stop um, balloons being airborne and so people just wouldn't be able to release them. That's why banning the use of helium is key to solving the problem. One good thing about the petition with Mr. Frydenberg, he accepted that balloons were a problem. So I think that's a major step forward that the recognition is there. We've just got to get some action. If the message gets out to people that balloons are being banned because they're damaging to the environment, then it should spread wider as well. To my way of thinking that by acknowledging that they cause harm to the environment, they should say no balloon releases at all, that just one balloon will cause damage. It turns out that the push for legislation against balloon releases isn't only coming from the general public and environment groups. It's also starting to come from within the balloon industry itself. The recently formed Pro-Environment Balloon Alliance, or PIBA, is a group of Australian balloon industry professionals who claim to follow pro-environment practices. Our big goal at the moment is to actually find a number of environmental groups who want to work together to lobby, whether it be local, state or federal government, we'd like it to be federal, to actually achieve a legislated ban on the release of helium balloons. 35 years ago in the, in the 80s, there was awareness about the need to ban balloon releases. So now, I mean, I see there's an opportunity to complete some unfinished business. And I think that's where we see a fantastic opportunity, you know. Instead of looking at this as, you know, we're actually trying to achieve different goals, I actually don't think we are. I think the environmental groups and the majority of the Australian balloon industry, you know, actually would like to see the same thing achieved and that is that legislation to say that, you know, the deliberate release of balloons is, is not okay. I'm not surprised an industry group like this has arrived because environmentalists are becoming increasingly vocal about balloon litter and the balloon industry is sensing the threat. I myself have been promoting this issue on social media since we started making this film and I've received a lot of nasty messages from balloon store owners. But this Balloon Alliance has a more reasonable approach. And where does PIBA stand on this idea that balloons are totally biodegradable? Um, look, it's a really difficult discussion for us to have because although there is some element of biodegradability in a latex balloon as there are in so many other products and items, we just don't feel that we have independent scientific research to show us that they are a biodegradable product in the sense that, you know, you know they're going to disappear and not have any, you know, impact on our earth. We can't have that you know discussion it's unfounded what we can do is we can say that they shouldn't be in the water they shouldn't be left on the land they shouldn't be released into the air and so therefore when um, we do use the product which we feel we can still use responsibly we should dispose of it in the correct manner